YouTube, it's me, it's me, it's your favourite Steve, and this is my car boot haul from the weekend. What up YouTube, how you doing? It's me, it's me. Um, this is my car boot haul from Sunday. Um, it yeah, I don't know why I thought I picked up more than this, but I think what it was, I went proper overload on the figures. Um, but yeah, it was an alright thing. He went to down the other side of Wolverhampton from me. I can't remember. Himley. Is it Himley? I think so. Can't remember. Who cares? You don't care, do you? You're not from Wolverhampton. It's the other side of Wolverhampton from me. I can't remember. Um, Carl Car Boots, that's it. One of them's Carl's Car Boot. Nobody cares. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm trying to explain to you what car boot I went to. Anyway, right. So this is what I got from the car boot of the weekend. Um, yeah, it's all right. That is probably the most thing I was excited about. I don't know what it is. Getting like a load of figures, even though I know they're all like, you know, I've, I've looked through them. There's a few there that are twenty, ten to fifteen pound. Well, well, there's maybe you know three or four in there that are that much. Um, but I just like having them figures. They're an easy thing to list. Um, and like a kind of quick, easy move, a jiffy bag kind of thing. So I do get excited about them. But um, the rest of them, yeah, it's, it's a bit of all right, um, like myself. Uh, but yeah, there's a few bits where I'm, I'm struggling on the price a bit. But right, we'll go through them. Right, I'll start with the figures. So, um, Pits... You know what, I don't think that's all the figures, or is it? Maybe it is. Maybe it is all the figures I picked up. I don't know, I thought some of them were like wrapped, but I think it's these ones in these bags. Um, yeah, all these cost me about a pound. This one cost me three. It's an old, if you're into wrestling figures, it's an old WCW one from 1990. Um, I thought that'd be worth more money, but it's not really worth that much, so I paid three for that. Um, but the rest of them were all a pound each, apart from the big daddy here, big great Carly. Um, he cost me one pound fifty, but um, he should go for about eight, something like that. Um, but you've got like that one cost me a pound, that should go for about twenty quid. Um, that one should go for about fifteen. They're basically both the same character, just in a different form. Um, what else? Because I was kind of hand picking them because I know I kind of know which ones only go for a couple of quid. That one will go for about ten. Um, an old school WWE figure, Jimmy Snooker. Old school WCW figure, Buff Bagwell. He's buff. He's the stuff, and the girls just can't get enough. That was actually his music when I was a kid. Buff. Oh, what was his music? Buff Daddy. I'm Buff Daddy. Buff Daddy. Yeah, yeah, I can understand why people. It was raving. It was definitely like, definitely lots of homosexual um, tendencies in the wrestling, but I loved it. Hi, Josh. <laughs> I'm joking, Josh. Now you've only got eyes for Andrew. Um, but yeah, so all those figures, you know, they'll cost me around a pound each, but you know, they'll all sell for. Some will, I know some will sell for two or three, but I kind of handpicked them. The ones that, that one will be for right money as well. I kind of handpicked them. So ones that I knew would go for more than a couple, more than three or four quid. So you're looking about over a fiver. I'm probably each of these apart from that one. That one's shite. But yeah, cool. Um, next was this Captain Hook. Disney Store plush. Um, I picked this guy up for four quid. I paid a little bit more than I normally would for a plush, but I have had this guy before, um, Mr. Captain Hook. Um, I have had him before. Um, he has sold for twenty quid. I think I might slap. Um, it's like about, it's you know, some have sold for ten, some have sold for fifteen, one sold for twenty, but I think I might shoot for twenty and leave it there till Christmas. So it. So yeah, um, that cost four, I'm going to shoot for 20 on that. Um, this one, a bit of a dud, he's a talking... Chocolate. He smells chocolate. He smells chocolate. chocolate over here. 
He smells chocolate. Um, if you remember the Disney film Up, um, he's one of the dogs from that. I'd never seen any of those kind of plushies. He has got a bit of a pull on his foot. Um, but he only cost me 50p. Um, it was like, you know, you know where they, they put out like boxes and bags of stuff and they can't be bothered to separate it so they expect you to. It's like one of them. So it only cost me like 50p. Um, I think I'll get about like six or seven quid, nothing amazing for him. But yeah, it was just a plush I've never seen before. So I thought, you know, 50p, I'll take a punt. It might be worth some of it, but it wasn't. Um, this You Can't See Me John Cena hat, that cost me 20p. You won't get any more than a fiver for that. And it cost me 20. Um, a cast iron, um, what's it we call it? Fire companion. Now I have eight of these in the loft now, maybe. Had a good Christmas. You know, people, are you posh folk with your log fires, you better get them. Um, but yeah, that should go for about 20, hopefully. And then your standard um, motorcycle boots. I love picking up motorcycle boots. These cost me a fiver. Should get about 30 quid on them bad boys. What's the brand? I think the brand is... Oh, upside down. Bolson. Never picked up Bolson before. So yeah, um, Bolson motorcycle boots there. So yeah, cool. And then the last bit was the clothing. This one's confused me a bit because... I know I know I searched this while I was at the car boot, so I need to do a little bit more research on it. Um but it's a Spalding basketball um kind of varsity jersey kind of thing. Um but I, I know I don't I can't remember the price that I researched it on. But it cost me a fiver. Um I know I know I wouldn't have brought it unless I would have done research on it and I must have seen it somewhere on eBay selling for the right money, well, more than a five pound. Yeah. Um, but you know, around the twenty pound, maybe more. But obviously, more than twenty pound mark. I, I would have thought in my head I would have been giving around forty, fifty. Um, but I can't find the listing that it sold for, so I need to do a little bit more search on that. But yeah, the Spal Spalding's a brand of basketballs um, that make basketballs, so it's like a varsity kind of jacket. Yeah, that cost me a fiver. At the minute, I don't know, but if it comes to it, I'll just shoot for 30 on that one. Um, next, this only cost me a quid. Um, an NFL team apparel. It does... <laughs> I don't know why, but the way that's sewed on kind of puts me off. I'm not sure why. Maybe I'm just being a bit paranoid, but it's got all the tags in there. NFL team apparel. Um, can't find one on eBay, but, you know... I can't remember how much there was a Seahawks thing that sold for about 20, so I'll shoot for 20 quid on that. And then a Winsmore jacket that was on the car boot, so on a rack for 2 quid, and I'll shoot for 15 on that one. So yeah, that was my car boot wall. I'm going to be taking photos off tomorrow, or today, because this will be uploaded tomorrow. Um, so yeah, that was my car boot wall. Um, at the minute, sales are pretty shite. And I bought a Patrice Ever t-shirt, which I punished myself by taking it out of my um, sourcing money. So I, I probably could have gone out sourcing this week, but I got a Patrice Ever t-shirt, so kicking the balls. But anyway, so yeah, um, that was my car boot haul for the week, guys. Um, well, yeah, I only got to one a week. I should go to the Thursday one. I really should. I'm not going to. I really should, though. But anyway, um, I'll actually share on this video. Thanks for to Peter Ray for having me on his channel yesterday, today. But yesterday, when you're watching this, um, yeah, Peter Ray put a link in his chat, and then I ended up clicking on the link, and then the next thing I know, I was live on the Tinter Web. So thank you to Peter for having me on his channel. Um, but yeah. I'm also thinking, I'm thinking about bringing, I know it's literally only been two weeks, but I'm thinking about bringing live from the loft back, but I don't know, I'm thinking about it, hmm, I'll have to think about it, but anyway, thank you very much for watching, that was my car boot haul from the week, peace out, stay safe, stay beautiful, and I will see you in my next vid, bye bye.